In this video, I'm going to explain how you can use the WP Lead Pages plugin. To get started, all you need to know is install it from your WordPress dashboard like any normal plugin by clicking on Add New. Once you upload and install the plugin, as you can see here, the WP Lead Capturing Pages. Once it's activated, if you go to Settings, you will see two new options here, WP Lead Pages and Lead Subscriber. We're going to explain exactly how to use them. But first of all, we need to go up to Pages and click on Add New and create a new page that we will use to show our landing page. Let's call it Landing Page Sample. Publish the page. Once the page has been successfully created, I will now need to go to Settings and WP Lead Pages. Click on that to see all the templates that are available with the plugin that I can use right away and pick the ones that I like. As you can see, you have a wide variety of designs. More here when I scroll. Okay, so very beautiful templates that are ready to use right away. Let's pick this one for example, the charity lead page. Click on use this template and I'm now greeted with a, an editor where I can edit my template and change everything on the page with my own content. First of all, let's select the page that we've created earlier. Clicking in here and as we call it lead page sample and then let's update the page. Now the page is ready. All I need is edit my content. For example, here is the logo. Clicking on the edit element here. It opens a box where I can get my logo. Let's say I'm going to go to image library and pick the logo. Let's pretend this is the logo I want to use. And I click on select and click in on OK here that I can edit. OK, so I will add my phone number. Let's change this to reflect my phone number, for example. OK, and click on save changes. When you scroll down here, this is the preview of the page and as you can see all the other elements are available titles text spaces everything on the page itself these images this text paragraph text for example i can just delete this and enter my own text and click on save changes okay it's real simple to use let's update and then preview how this looks for the front end user let's click on preview here is the template as you can see a very beautiful design with all the elements. This is the logo I've used. This is the updated phone number. And I can also go ahead and change all of this content to reflect my own content. The only thing that's waiting is to connect this register form or subscribe form with my own autoresponder or uh, email service provider. And we're going to do this now to connect my opt-in forms. I need to go to lead subscriber here. As you can see, you have a lot of email service providers that you can use. Constant Contact, iContent, MailChimp, GetResponse, any one of these you are using. You can simply connect by either using an email and password, username and password, or for some of them, you need to use an Aweber code. For MailChimp, there is an API key. Let's take that for example to explain how to get that. When I'm logged into my MailChimp account, I'll go to account. Then under extras, I have API keys. All I need here is to create a new key and then paste that key into this field. Click on connect. Here I've already done that so it shows disconnect but it will show connect when it's the first time. And then once you do this, you need to go to the form again. Let's go to pages and edit the form on the page that we've created. Okay, I'm going to edit this page. Edit now to open the live editor for the landing page. Once this opens, here is the opt-in form. I can edit this element. And as you can see here, I can choose which fields I'd like to display. What's the text that appears? Enter your email, enter your name. And here I need to connect it with the service provider that I've chosen. I've chosen here MailChimp. And then here I need to select the list that I would like to subscribers to join. Let's say I'll, I'll pick this list. 
and then you can also say that what would you like to do show a thank you message or redirect to a new page here is the page URL if you'd like to do this and here you have all the content for the form size to the button text what would you like it to say register now or something else font alignment you can pick the title color the background color let's try changing that to something else for example same thing with the button button alignment and so on all of these are completely under your control once you're happy with the changes just click on save changes and the opt-in form is now ready to collect the user's data and add it to your email uh, service provider let's update the the choices we've made successful now let's preview the form the lead page again that we've created as you can see we've changed the button to background color to blue this is the new color it has a different hover here the user enters the email email address registers and then the data is collected successfully to your email service provider and you can do this with the other elements as well hope you find this useful and you enjoyed the wp lead page capturing plugin thank you